Hello, hello, hello. It is Dr. Naisha Cherry, your fitness instructor, mind and body coach, and yoga instructor here today for a plank challenge workout with cardio in between. So we will have speed steps. You're basically stepping your feet out in front of you as fast as you can and pumping those arms. We will have forearm plank where you come down to your mat on your forearms, dropping your hips low in line with your body. After that, we have alley shuffle where you are moving your feet opposite directions, pumping your arms again. And if you would like, you can move side to side with that. Then we have right plank, side plank. So you can choose on this one if you want to be on your forearm or your palm, right side down. So you can be here, you can stagger your feet, you can bring your knee down if you need be, or you can have your forearm down, same thing. Feet stacked or staggered, knee down if need be. After that, we have squat walks with a hop. So you come to the end of your mat, squat down, walk all the way to the end of your mat, hop, squat back, hop. Then we will have our side plank on the left side with the same variations as before. Left arm down, feet stacked, stagger, knee down, or you can come to your forearm, feet stacked, stagger, knee down. Then we have jump rope. Jump rope in place. If you have your own jump rope, you can bring it out if you would like. Last but not least, high plank. Come down, palms to your mat, hips come down, align with your body, core is engaged, hold here. So those are our eight exercises. We have three rounds. Let's get ready to warm up. Make sure everything is solid. <laughs> All right. Let's warm up our shoulders first. So big arm circles forward, 10. And take it back. We got twist, 10 total, um, or 10 per side. Make sure you lift your neck heel, protect your neck knee. Come to you at the back of your mat. Edge forward, walk your hands out to high plank. Hold here. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Hold it again. Step back to high plank. Bring your left foot out. To the outside of your left hand and hold. Step your left foot in, rock your hands in. Come to standing. Hands at your hips again, rock your hands out to a high plank. Shift to one side, hold. Back to center, shift to the other side, hold. Come back to center, drop your knees down. Let's thread the needle five times per side. So reach your right arm through, come back up, second time, and back up for a total of five. Oh, 
I did a lot of effort, so I'm just enjoying myself with thread and the needle. So I guess I'll make it even and do eight on this side. <laughs> Alright, come back to center. Do a little cat and cow in. Just a nice rotation between the two. And then consistently, you know, stop and just rotating through the cat and cow. Give some mobility in your back, spine, core. Two more. Come into the tabletop, curl your toes under, push your hips up and back. Toes for a brief moment here, pedal out your dog, bending into one knee, bending into the other knee. Now drop both heels towards your mat, lock your hands in, roll up to standing. And let's get started. We have a 10 second countdown. We're starting with speed steps. Three, two, one, speed steps, let's go. Tap your toes in front of you as fast as you can, as if you're stepping up on something. If you could actually place a book or a step in front of you and step on top of it completely up to you. Just make sure that you are stepping forward and pumping those arms. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one. Up next, we have forearm plank. So let's get ready. <clears throat> so remember, forearm plank, try to keep your arms flat. Try not to clasp. Engage your core. Three, two, one, let's go. Core is engaged, hips are in line with your body, so don't let them sit down and don't press them up. Press them down in line. Core is engaged, shoulders relax, back and down, engage down to protect your neck. It's more work when you keep your arms flat as opposed to if you clasp your hands. So, work on keeping your arms flat for 15 more seconds. You got it. Three, two, one. Knees touch down. Take a break. We have Ali shuffle coming up. shuffle. Your feet go in opposite directions. One forward, one back. Arms are pumping. more seconds. Three, two, one. Up next, side plank, right arm down or right forearm down. Whichever you decide. Now 
Make sure you're challenging yourself. So start off with both legs straight and try not to drop a knee unless you can't hold it anymore. Three, two, one. Side plank. <clears throat> you can bring your arms up. If you would like, you can place your hand on your hip. You have so many variations. For side plank, choose one that works for you. Core is engaged. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one. Up next, squat walks with the hop. We just start the back of the mat. Squat down, walk it, and you get to the end, hop, and reverse back. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're still engaged. more seconds. Three, two, one. Start plank on left, coming up. The left hand or forearm is down. Jump rope. Three, two, one. Let's go. Exercise for round one, that's high plank. All 
All right, high plank is coming up, so get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Shoulders step over wrist. Hips are down in line with your body. Legs are engaged, core is engaged. Shoulders are back and down. So don't have your shoulders up to your ears, relax. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one. Knees touch down. Round one is done. We're moving up to round two with speed steps. All right, good job. We are one third of the way through. So if you're liking this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get ready for these speed steps. Coming up in three, two, one. Let's go. So your feet are tapping in front of you. Fifteen more seconds. You got it. Keep moving. Three, two, one. All right, let's get ready for four on plank. Four on plank coming up in three, two, one. Here we go. Core is engaged, legs are engaged, your glutes are in line with your body. Shoulder over elbow. Keep breathing. Shuffle. Maybe try to move up and down. Three, two, one. Five plank on the right, coming up. 
All right. Three, two, one. Side plank. Hips are up, core is engaged. You got it. Keep breathing, hold it on. Fifteen more seconds. You can do it. Keep holding. Three, two, one. Knee touch back. All right. Come up to standing. We got our squat walks with a hop. So getting down low in that squat, walking it, and then hopping at the end and walking back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drop low and walk. Hop at the end. Walk backwards. Hop at the end. Keep it going. Core is engaged. Three, two, one. All right, we got our side plank on the left. Coming up next. Get ready. Three, two, one. Side plank on the left. Hold and breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Core engage. Hips are up. Two more seconds. Three, two, one. Last exercise from round two coming up. That's high plank. All right, we are almost two thirds of the way. Done with the workout. One round and one exercise left. Okay. Let's go. 
Prepare for high plank. In three, two, one. Let's go. Core engaged. Hips are in line. Press the mat away from you and relax your shoulders. Engage your legs. You don't just let them be flimsy. Engage them. It helps to distribute the force and the weight. Pull the gravity evenly to make it less challenging on your core and your lower back. 15 more seconds. And you get to work your legs more. Tone them up. Three, two, one. Knees touch down. All right, one more round. Starting with speed steps. All right, we can do this. We got this, y'all. We got this. Whew. All right. Three, two, one, speed steps. Fifteen more seconds. Keep going. Don't give up. Last time here. Three, two, one. All right, forearm plank. Last one of the day. Coming up. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, four on plank. You got it. So last one. Make it count. Core is engaged. Legs are engaged. Press the mat away from you with your forearms. Keep your butt low. You want to negate the work that's supposed to be the right abs. Keep going. Keep breathing. You got this. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Knees come down. All right. We have our last set of Ali shuffle coming up. Make it fun. Three, two, one. Ali shuffle. Or six games. Three, two, one. All right. Last side plank on the right. What's her day? Coming up, coming up, coming up.
three, two, one, let's go. with a hop. Coming up. We are halfway through this round. Almost done. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and walk. Thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Two, one, jump rope. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Jump rope, jump rope. more seconds. Three, two, one. High plank coming up. Oh, 
All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one. High plank. Last one. Make it count. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Engage your core. Legs are engaged. Butt is in line. You got this. Press your mat away from you. Keep breathing. Gaze down to protect your neck. You got it. So good. Last 15 seconds. Let's make it count. Keep holding. No modifications. Push through. Last three, two, one. We did it. All right. So good. So, let's start on our mats. What I want you to do, you want to start with the needle. So, put your right arm through. Bring your right cheek and your right shoulder down to your mat. Hold and breathe. Deep breath. Using your left hand, press up. Reach your right arm high. Open up through your chest. Point your right palm. Reach your left arm through thread the needle. Using your right palm, press up. Put your left hand high. Stretch open. Turn your palm. Drop your hips forward. Full cobra stretch here. Get into those abs. And we twist and look over one shoulder. And then look over the other shoulder. Come back to center. And then press back the child pose. Knees out wide, big toes touching. Reaching forward, bring your forehead to your mat. And bring your palm to touch, bend at the elbow and bring your thumbs to your lower neck. Reach your palms to your mat. Press up to tabletop. Curl your toes under. Press your hips up and back for down dog. Come on here and stretch. Stretch through your hamstrings. Stretch through your arms and back. Really press your hips up and back. Your right hand to your left ankle, twist and stretch here. Switch sides, so plant your right palm and then reach your left palm to your right ankle. Come back to your mat. 
Lock your hands in towards your feet. Hang out here for a second and pull it close. And bend your knees and gently roll up to standing. Let's do three shoulder rolls forward. And three back. Thank you so much for tuning in to this workout, Saint Challenge with Cardio. Hope you got what you came for. Please comment, let me know how did it work out for you. Did you enjoy the plank? Did you hate them? Did you do them but because you needed them? Let me know your thoughts. Please share this video with other people so they can get their core strong too because core strength is needed for everything that we do. As always, like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Let me know anything. You let me know in the comments, okay? Um, also, if you are a female looking to lose some weight, join me in my group. We're having a challenge going on this month with exercise and emotional health. My group is called All Things Health, Wellness, and Yoga. We would love to have you. And finally, I am a mind body coach. So if you need some assistance clearing some clutter from your mind so that you can focus on your health, I am your girl. So let's talk. All right. Everything you need is in the commentary for the video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.